this looks dodgy, it probably is. Anyway, the water is pr crystal clear here. It's just amazing. There's dead fish. I'm not sure that's what we've been common seeing or whether they're dead fish because they've been killed in nets. It's difficult to tell. The boys are hauling a pretty big net here. That's a, a big piece of net. It looks like what we've got here. This is a transport, transporting people from this side of the river to the other side of the river. Um, maybe straight across there, I believe. There used to be further to our left, there used to be a proper ferry crossing, but it's long been discarded. I'll have a crack at this. This river is magnificent. I mean, have a look at this place. It is just beautiful. Okay, so there's more jetties over there. Yeah, tell me this is not tough work. That's a heavy net. The, the water here is actually very clear. However, there is a there is a slight smell of dead fish. You know, you, you see the few small little dead fish floating around. As I say, I don't know. Um, well, that's a concern for the water, but the water itself is crystal clear. Here we go. What are the boys going to get here? What do we got? Big haul. I got fucking nothing. Not a cracker. That's a bit disappointing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are we? That's a big boat. Let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it. I might get off this jetty in case this boat wants to pull up here. The cost on the long boat was only two CD, which is really cheap. I mean, that's a few cents really. So just across the river. So I guess that guy just paddles across, just backwards and forwards during the course of the day. I've got to watch my feet here or I fall into the drink. Well, love. <laughs> Oh, right. oh, she's not happy. <laughs> yeah, I know you got a calf. She goes, that's basically piss off away from my calf. <laughs> One of the things I'm starting to find common as I move around Ghana is unfinished projects. And there's so many projects you see unfinished. Have a look at this. So this looked or could have been a magnificent swimming pool. I tell you. It's huge. I mean, it's just... So here we are, we're sort of down the... Oh, so the river's, the river's over there. Yeah. So there's the river over here. And you've got this large piece of land here. And they started to build something there. But this is an enormous pool. And it's very deep, mate. How deep would this be? I mean, that'd have to be six foot deep. And it obviously fills with water. So whenever it rains, it becomes full of water. But it's just unfinished. I mean, they've gone to so much effort building a magnificent big concrete pool. And it's just let, then left it. It's just this is, what we, this is what they call a pub in Ghana. That is brilliant. This is a local pub. There you go. Sensational. I'm very well. How are you? I'm a go to fast. I don't care about.
morning from Lake Volta in Ghana. So Lake Volta is famous here. This is the largest man-made lake in the world by area. So it covers 3.8% of the total Ghana landmass. So it is huge. But we're at the very bottom end of it. So the lake continues, if I pan out here, that's the famous uh, Arc Bridge here at the lower end of the river. Oh, there, sorry, this is part of the Volta River, but as we move further up, the river goes for just hundreds and hundreds of kilometres in the direction I'm facing now. So it is beautiful, a beautiful big freshwater lake. It's chock a block full of fish. It is the lifeblood of this country and it is just stunning. Uh, this is a beautiful area. I'm going to fly the drone here shortly. Um, I'd like to have a look at more of the lake and I'd like to go and actually try and catch some fish. However, uh, I don't know where I'll get a fishing rod from, so the plan was that one of the main uh, bucket list things here was to actually uh, fire a fishing rod and try and catch a fish. Uh, this river's full of uh, tiger fish, which would be nice to get hold of one, but uh, however, uh, if that doesn't happen, who cares? We're actually stationed ourselves at a little bar on the side of the river, which is just beautiful. Have a look at this, little, little um, riverside bar. There's a, uh, spa bar sitting over there, people enjoying some music, so it's just wonderful. A perfect day. Um, we can start by the weather forecast, which is 35 degrees, uh, but it is just beautiful here. Anyway, let's put the drone in the air and have a bit of a look.
restaurant. It's all bars and restaurants, isn't it, all along here? How beautiful is that? Front's right by the water, doesn't there? This is beautiful. The garden's here. Stunning as this. Wow. Food and drinks from outside is not allowed. Good morning, how are you? This would be really nice, really nice for, for dinner somewhere along here, don't you reckon? We're not, we're not eating at the, at the sure, hotel, sure. all right? It's just not happening. The service is too slow. I'm too old, I can't wait for slow service. Oh yeah. Tell me this isn't breathtaking. I want one of these lizards to take home. I want one of them. A pet one. Me and him would have a lot of fun. Oh, wow. Look, the water is absolutely pristine, crystal clear. But yeah, but there's dead fish floating and I don't understand. But they're floating from downstream, upstream. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe there's something with the salt water or something down there, is it? I don't know. It seems, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. There's barely a breath of wind, and this is just paradise. Thank you. 